Paw Nebraska is full of beautiful trees. The Nebraska Forest Service is working to promote just how important our forests are to our state. Right now they are accepting nominations for the state's largest tree species. It's all part of Nebraska's Champion Tree Program. Pure Nebraska reporter Kristen Bauer is standing by with more on that program. Yeah, good morning, John and Taryn. Well, the Champion Tree Program recognizes the largest tree species in Nebraska, and anyone can submit an entry. Joining me now with more on the program is John Duplissis with the Nebraska Forest Service. Thanks for being on our program. Yeah, good morning. Thank you. So it's a pleasure to be here. So tell me a little bit about yeah, the program. <laughs> yeah, so the um, so it's wonderful. You know, Nebraska, we're the tree planter state, and, and I like to say Nebraskans have a love affair with trees. You know, everybody loves to plant trees. And one of the programs that we operate here is the Heritage and Champion Tree Program, and it basically recognizes uh, large trees. In fact, some states call it the Big Tree Program, and it's not so much really about the size, it's the fact that they're old. Uh, they've survived and survived a lot. You know, when you think about Nebraska weather, tornadoes, ice, mm -hmm. Um, and they've grown to a certain size. So while we think in terms of the size of the tree, it's really kind of honoring kind of the monarchs of the forest, the ones that have lived and survived a long time. And so we look for trees, one from each species, to nominate and recognize as the largest. And it's a bit of a bragging contest. Uh, it can be any tree, someone's front yard in a forest, uh, doesn't matter where it is, so it's a bit of a bragging rights contest, but it's it's also just kind of recognizing these trees that have lived and survived and, and grown for so long. And anyone can nominate a tree, right? Tell me about that. Yeah, so anyone can nominate, and that's the great thing about it. Like I say, it's a bit bragging rights, and so it's kind of nice that way of, uh, it doesn't matter, it can be a tree in your front yard, can be a tree down by the creek or the water hole, it can be a tree in a forest, doesn't matter. Anyone can nominate, and we'll talk a little bit later about the measurements you need, but what you do is you can go out, self-measure this, send it to us, comes into our website, and then what we do is we go out and we ground check it to make sure. So step one is if once we get those measures, we kind of look against that tree versus the current champion, is it in the running? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and again, it's your own personal measure. So, you know, it's it might be kind of like, you know, all your, your children are wonderful. Well, it might be <laughs> the same thing. So we want to make sure that it's in the running. If it looks like it's in the running, then we come out and we'll actually do the measures ourselves to see if it is the champion. Um, and then of course, because it's bragging rights, then if it's the new champion, then the former champion, of course, they want you to come out and take a look because maybe their tree has grown over the years too, so. Tell me a little bit about why programs like this are so important in our state. Yeah, absolutely. So again, you know, we are the tree planter state. Um, and like I say, Nebraskans just have a love affair with trees. That makes it wonderful to be a forester in Nebraska. But it's really kind of that recognition program, or it's the recognition of the fact that um, you know, the, the tree has survived, it's lived, a little bit of bragging rights, but it also kind of highlights kind of care and maintenance. So, you know, trees don't need a lot, but, um, you know, it, the folks that do take care of them, help them grow and thrive, it's wonderful to recognize it. Absolutely. Thank you so much for being on our program this morning. Yeah, thank you very much. It's a pleasure. John and Taryn, when submitting a nomination, it's important to get an accurate measurement, like we said earlier. Coming up in about 30 minutes, we'll get a demonstration on just how to do that. But for now, I'll send it back to you. Okay, thank you, Kristen, for that live report. And uh, that champion cottonwood down by Beatrice, I've seen, and it really is amazing. It is that big. Mm -hmm, yeah.